righteousness to the plumage. <clears throat> All right, so the Lord is basically, uh, you know, he, he, he's going he's gonna to put judgment down to the T. And the hail shall sweep away the refuge of lies, mm -hmm. and the water shall overflow the hiding place. And, and, and really, when you look at it, Yahweh Bashim Yahshua is causing all this mirth to see so that you can understand that there's a power to be feared, okay? And, and, and the Lord's putting his foot down, you know, and, and, and basically, you know, the lies, okay, all the bullshit is going to stop. You know, the scriptures say, iniquity shall stop the mouth. And that's the time of coming upon where, where all the bogus philosophies, man, all the all the lies that Esau, you know, created, all the covering cast, you know, you know, did us upon the whole world. The whole world is, is, is engulfed in lies. All that is coming to, to a stop. The Lord's gonna, he's gonna wash away and, 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 and this truth, okay, that people call crazy, this truth that people, you know, um, they, 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 they wag their head at. This is what's gonna be proclaimed. It says, it says, um, and your, it says, and the water shall overflow the hiding place, and your covenant with death shall be disannulled, right? And then basically, the and, scripture and says, who's death, huh? You saw evil, man. Right, the scriptures say, all those that, that hate me love death, man. Mm -hmm. So if you don't love Yahweh Hashem, you love know the ways of this world, okay? Which, which obviously, you sitting at home, you got to know that your government's full of shit. Mm -hmm. By now, it should be dawning upon you that these people are, are, are setting you up for something, man. When is it going to click? When is that light bulb? Gonna go off and say, hey, you know what? This isn't this isn't what's going on, man. There's something else. There's a bigger agenda. It says that your coming of the dead shall be disannulled, and your agreement with hell shall not stand. When the overflowing scourge shall pass through, ye shall be trodden down by it, because there's coming troops. All right. The scriptures say that, that uh, you know the scriptures speak about um, you know the government you know sending sending troops to to, to to take people out of their house. You know to, to you know there's gonna, there's gonna be a persecution upon the saints, man. You know, it says, from that time that it go forth, it shall take you. From morning by morning shall it pass over day. It says, by day, you know, remember the back. From the time that it goeth forth, it shall take you. From morning by morning shall it pass over. By day and by mm -hmm. night, and it shall be a vexation only to understand the report. All right, so day by night, and you know, morning by morning, day by night. Every, you know, every day, every day you hear prophecies coming to pass. Every day you hear, you know, um, th this, you know, this truth is, is being brought to light. And when the people are starting to hear it, especially when we make videos, when they come up across social media, because this truth is out, it's only what? It's only a vexation to the people. I see it. It's just, you know, they hear the word and it's a reproach into them. They're like, man, you know, what are we going to do now? Yeah. Hey, well, what is Samuel? What happened when Samuel entered the city, man? They were like, hey, well, you're yeah. going to bring good tidings or you, know, you bring evil upon yeah. what, what are your intentions? Yeah. You know, when, they, when they saw a prophet coming, they knew that that was their ass, man. They're like, oh, shit. But, you know, they know, hey, the Lord, the Lord matters us again. You know, we've been fucking up. But that man, they're going to come tell us something. In Jeremiah 28 and 8, you know, the prophets have been before have all prophesied both against great kingdoms, you know, pestilence, death, destruction, man. So that's, what, hey, that's the main job of the prophets, man. I got this though, you know, mm -hmm. just because the brother brought the point up about death, man. Okay. The, this is Proverbs 21 and 16. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead, Shh. man. You know, so like the brother said, man, you know, uh, uh, you know, separate yourself from the Heavenly Father equals death, man. You know what I mean? And we're going to see it being manifested throughout the world at a, at a alarming rate, man. We're going to see the, the scriptures talk. The, the talk, man, you know, hey, the Lord is a man that he shall not lie, so everything he said that was going to be is going to be fulfilled, man. And we're going to see, hey, motherfuckers dropping dead, man, mm -hmm. you know, what you're seeing, you know? Yeah, you know, say it's going to be like dumb on the streets, man. Like, like, a, like a, you, you let a bunch of uh, dogs out in your yard and he shit all over the place, that's how the bodies are going to be, man. Yeah. And you can see pictures of that if you look up the, you look up uh, the hate, uh, order in Haiti, where they show all these burnt bodies over the street, they do, they do, they do look like pieces of shit all over the street, man. Yeah. That's how it's going to look in America. And it's going to smell like it, as yeah. too, you know, because when a motherfucker dies, you know, just one person dying stinks up the, the, the you could smell that bad, you know, it's, it's a stench. Yeah, if an animal dies, it smells, man. It smells good. You know, so it, it, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be some crazy ass time, man. Got one like that. This is 2nd Ezra 16 and 16. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer who turneth not backward, even so the plagues that shall be sent upon the earth shall not return again. And, and, and this COVID-19 is a plague that went out, right? But, 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 you know, it, it's going to be, basically, it, it, it's going to run its course, mm -hmm. all right? And, and the, the, 
the words are going to be accomplished, how you have Hashem Yashai wants them. The prophecies yeah. are going to go out yeah. and the things are going to transpire exactly how the Lord wants. There's no going back to so-called normal life. And that wasn't even a normal life, man. Yeah. What's so normal about waking up every day? You know what I'm What's so normal about being uh, a sick? What's so normal about, about having, you know, bills? What's so normal about, you know, your kids, you know, going to daycare and, 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 and they're, you know, basically they, they, they lock them in a room and, and, and they have a plastic glass. It's like they're in a, in a prison. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? The kids at school, so they, they lock the doors from the outside. You see what I'm saying? Just, you know, being in debt. You know, being in debt, credit cards, paying off a house, paying off a car. You're sending your kids to college, man. What, what type of life is that? This ain't living, man. You know, credit, credit. You're debt slaves, man. You know, what type of life is that? But these, 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 these uh, plagues are going forth. Yeah. Hey, what does the scripture say? Depart, for this is not your rest. Yeah, my book, the book of yeah, Mike. Just to bring up a point, too, you know, because I know you brothers remember that 9 11 a little bit more. Because I still remember, you know, but I was a little younger. But, hey, I remember that day, the day before, it was a. Life was different, man. And once that happened, life changed, man. Yeah. So this time, you know, it's gonna be that, but on steroids, man. Oh, life yeah. is not gonna be ordinary, you know. And I know these brothers could remember more. Hey, you, you brothers remember all that? It was different living. Oh, yeah. It was a different type of life before 9/11 than after 9/11, man. You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the world seemed to get a lot more smaller. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because we actually got so-called touched. You know, by a terrorist, but it really we knew that was that was the United States government that perpetrated that lie of 9/11. Yeah. But yeah, life was very, but like that's true because they, they went on what a red alert and there was terror a terror alert and everybody was freaking out just like now. This is this is a this is this is a biological uh, uh, chemical attack mm -hmm. upon the upon, upon their own people, their it's own also, it's their also, own nation. It's also a psychological attack. Right? Yeah, kind of. because they're testing the limits of, of how they can control you. Yeah. You know, and that's exactly what he saw doing, man. That's what he's all about, man. That one that Khan, it says, woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? So even even the prophet Ezra was like, Man, bro, who hey, how am I you know, how am I gonna get out of this? Hey, that's, that's our mindset too, you know, it's like damn, this shit getting it's, it's gonna get bad, man, you know, so in in only the Lord's gonna be able to deliver you, man. You know, like we always go into those those faith building scriptures. You know, faith is very important, man. In those times that we're in, these times that we're in, man. You know, it's not even saying like in those times there are to come, because hey, we're we're living through really basically, you know, the prophecies being fulfilled, man. You know, that this terrible and great day, you know, but it just has to be built up, you know, just like the like he saw does that, you know. But hey, the Lord likes a a good show, man. So he's mm -hmm. building everything up to that the ultimate, climax, the ultimate climax. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that fi that final scene, right? yeah, the final scene of the movie is always like the best part where they, where they have that that big battle and then you know say the final showdown, yeah, yeah, final <laughs> showdown, yeah. And they, like the Lord's movie, man, yeah, and, and, and that Lord's movie is where the, before the credits roll, man, yeah, how is he, gonna come back, man? He's gonna he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna, he's gonna have glory on him, man. I'm gonna take busy. Yeah. Yeah. Come. It says the beginning of sorrows and great mournings, the beginning of famine and great death. The beginning of wars and the power shall stand in fear. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? And like the brothers were saying, they, they, Ezra said it right there. What, yeah, shall what did Ezra say? He said, What shall I do? So he, he seen it. So hey, he had that once that post resurrection too, man. Because he knew that he was going to be back in those days. <laughs> he knew he was going to go through that shit. He said, What am I going to do when I. Because, because uh, if, if he didn't say that, then he would, well, that's for future time. I want to be dead already. Yeah. He, he wouldn't. He wouldn't. He wouldn't say it like that, man. Right. Because he was speaking about the future. See, mm -hmm. and, that, and that goes to show you that our ancestors they knew about reincarnation, mm -hmm. man. Mm -hmm. yep. So that's a good reincarnation scripture to bring out, man. You got some more. Or? That's great. Come, it says. It says. Uh, be, uh, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as scourges for amendment, mm -hmm. you see? So, that, you know, basically, you know, famine, plague, and tribulation, and anguish are sent for you to get yourself together, man. Yeah, that's what that word amendment means, is to fix. So he has to, he has to send all these plagues and, 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 and whatnot and judgments to fix the wickedness of this world, man. That's, that's amendment. So what you, when you mend something, you fix it, man. And that word amendment means to fix, to fix something, man. So these, all these things are to, to fix the, the fuck-ups that Esau did to this earth, man. And so, he, so that's why he has to be brought down. That's why his empire has to be brought down. That's why his kingdom has to be brought down. But he's going to be allowed to have that little bit of shine. So, so he thinks 
because those people say that thing in Book of Job when he reach out to his belly, then he gonna be he gonna be took it down, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, that's that's even worse. Ultimately, you know, if you really think about it, it's like you, you already have the the price, yeah. and then it's taken <laughs> from you. You know? Yeah, yeah. It's the most terrible like that. Man. Yeah, it's just like when you think you're all good, man. Like you know, all of a sudden something happens, man. Like you know, oh yeah, I got all my bills paid off and this, that, the other, and I'm good now, man. And then all of a sudden they, you uh. You, 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 something terrible happens and you're like, you're all fucked. You know? Or like, you get that badass whip. Yeah. And you lose your job and they come repossess that shit. That shit, that shit, you know? Yeah, you thought you were in a good case, man. <laughs> it would have been better not to even have the car than, than getting it taken away to liking it to what Esau's gonna go through. Yeah. Esau's gonna, hey, that motherfucker gonna feel that shit, man, when the Lord comes and takes everything away from his bitch ass. God. Got so much. I'll get this out. I just get this out right here, man. Mm -hmm. What the brother was talking about, how these scriptures are coming to pass, man. It says, uh, it says Ezekiel 12 and 25, it says, For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. And that's exactly what the year of prophecy is all about. These scriptures coming to pass, man. That's why I let the heart, uh, they will decree this year, 2020, year of prophecy. I'm going to read that back again. For I am the Most High, I will speak. And how has he spoken, man? He's spoken to the men that you see on the highways and hedges pushing up this truth. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged for in your days or rebellious house. And who's that rebellious house? The Israelites, man. You so-called black and deal with Native American. You solid children, man. You stiff-necked people. Mm -hmm. As the scripture described you, man. Because that's exactly what you are. That's exactly what your spirit is. Or rebellious house will, will I say the word and will perform it, says the Most High. Yahweh, man. So he's, here, he's performing all these things. He's bringing all things to pass, man. He, it will no longer be prolonged. There's going to be no more delay, man. You know, there's not going to be no more waiting around for for uh, for these. You know, people are not going to be saying that anymore, man. People are not saying that anymore. They know that. They know even on their own uh, level of understanding, which is not very great. They know that the the, the Lord is, is doing things. They know that there's judgment. There's, there, that that who they call God. Yeah, God's uh, doing this. God's doing this. God's doing that. Even on their own level of understanding, they know, man. They know that all these things are, are, are happening for a specific reason. And it's not and it's, it's, and it's not because of, uh, it's not because of what they think, man. It, it, it's for judgment. And we know this, this is, this is going to further the, the progression of Esau's empire coming down. And that's why, brothers, it is true. That's why we see these things. That's why they make me make these feels and we rejoice in that, man. Because we see, we see, yeah, yeah we know that we got to go through Jacob's trouble. You know, we know that some brothers are going to be martyred to this, to this truth. You know, we, we know we're going, to, we're going to see things that we ain't never seen before, man. You know, whether whether this passes or, or resides or, or it escalates, man. You know, yes. you know but, but, but we still going to have that same hope and we're still going to keep on pushing that, that the same we we'll be pushing, man. It says here, this is Job 5 and 12. He disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, man. So the Lord's going to disappoint, all right, uh, Esau, Edom, man. Because the thing is that the destruction has to come because of, 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 of wicked dealings, man. The earth is polluted, okay? It, t it tells you that in, in, in 2 Corinthians 15, the Lord will not hold his tongue anymore, okay? Concerning the things that are, are being profanely committed here upon the earth. So you got this devil, he's going to trick the whole world about this uh, a, a virus. You see what I'm saying? But it's not really that big of a threat, man. But that's how crafty... Mm -hmm. He is. He disappointed the devices of the crafty. All right? So the Lord's going to disappoint the plans of the wicked, man. You know, they're not going to be able to fulfill their agenda. It says, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. All right? That enterprise is their new world order. Okay? The, the, them trying to, you know, basically, you know, scare the people into getting um, the, the RFID. Because this is what this is all leading for. See, this devil's crafty, man. You know, he, he's very clever and wise and wickedness. And, and, and this is all being rolled out, okay, so that he can bring forth, okay, the, the 5G, that network to be able to power the, the microchip. But he's not going to be able to perform his whole plan. It says, he take the wiser their own craftiness and the counsel of the floor is carried headlong. So the Lord, basically, he sees you coming before you even finish, you know, before you, before you can even... Um, you know, finish finish your your enterprise. The, the Lord's already, the Lord's already ten steps ahead of you. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the he's the ultimate chess player, man. He's at the end game already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, yeah. the Lord's using you devils, man. Yeah. 
-hmm. It's the Lord's movie. Yeah, you know you're one. You're, you're one of the Lord's chess pieces, basically. Yeah. You know, Esau, Edom, man. You're, you're just a pawn. Yeah, you're, <laughs> you're, you're getting manipulated. <laughs> you're just, you're just a pawn in there. Yeah. You're, you're manipulated to to do what he wants to do, man. Yeah. To progress his to progress uh, uh, his uh, his agenda, what you think is your agenda, but it's ultimately his agenda, man. I got this to back that point. Can, can I finish this? Go ahead. Oh no, you know what? Go ahead. Bring it up. So this is uh, uh, Isaiah 55. I don't know if it was brought up, but. 55 and 8, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, mm -hmm. neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain cometh down, and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth the bring forth in bud, and make it to bring forth in bud, that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return to me void, but it shall accomplish that which it please, Ooh, yeah. which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing where I sent it. Mm -hmm. Do you like them? It says, right, right. So the heavenly father, these prophecies are coming to pass. His huh? movie's being played out. Yep. Okay, these devils are not going to be able to perform this, 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 um, New world order, man, where they have you know total control of the people by mass chipping and mass subjugation. 